the producer, African story living, songwriter, and entertainer Dr. Peter Hu. Recently turned 75, the family, friends, and colleagues organized a big surprise birthday party in Abuja, the nation capital city, to honor him. Before he arrived at the venue, the light was turned off to truly show that it was a surprise for him. But as soon as he was ushered in by the NCAC Director General Otomo Lushiko Rojwe, friends and colleagues, the light was on again, and everyone with an excitement on their faces stood up to welcome and congratulate him. <laughs> Greater thrill is guest with this popular 70s screen classic Cock Crow at Dawn. We have a baby. We have a with nothing left at the end of each day. Juventus, he must pay. Exactly. He wants to pay. So he often has no say. Will he ever get there? Will we ever make it? Will we ever hear the sound of the Nigeria who carries everyone along. Uh, Peter Ego is a man that celebrates others, so he deserves to be celebrated. And today I'm happy I'm one of those celebrating him. I want to strongly believe that he has a lot he has done and a lot to the younger ones. So I wish him well and I pray God's protection that he will live from strength to strength. By the grace of God, when he's 80, 90, 100, etc., we'll still be celebrating with him. For me, I wish him all the best. I'm so grateful to God and I'm so grateful to his uh, friends. I wish him a very good, long life, good health, and uh, let him be happy. 
We are happy, so we should continue with the happiness. It feels great to be celebrating his 75th birthday. Um, knowing that he has been with us for this long, I I just wish he stays with us for a longer period of time. Until people in 75, nobody will believe that he's actually 75 because of how active he is. For the celebrants, most of his achievements were done from lonely areas. It's um, just like, almost like yesterday. Uh, this morning when I woke up, I was asking myself, am I truly 75? Uh, but if you cast back, you, you begin to think so many things have rolled past. But what comes to mind is that um, most of the so-called achievements that I've done have been done from lonely areas. In other words, when you're working hard, most of the time you are in isolation, nobody's watching. So, I'm most likely saying that nobody's watching. So, you tend to say, well, nobody wants to, so you don't give a damn. But if you persist and set your mind and say, look, I want to do something good, and you invest in it, put all your mind and soul. In broadcasting, the knowledge is only half the business. Your knowledge of how to direct or how to produce or how to write is only half the business. The other 50% is the passion that you put into it. So, when you put that passion into the knowledge, then things begin to happen. Emi, Emi, Leko! Emi, Leko! Emi, Leko!